Hello and welcome back to another awe-inspiring episode of CCTV. This week brought to you live from the Los Angeles National Forest Ooh. and all of its majestic splendor behind us as we're here on this hillside, this random hillside. It's quite beautiful up here. Yeah. This is nice. It's quite hot. Again, it's quite the second, hot. second week in a row. I like third us week in going outdoors, you no. know? No? Do you want to permanently have like a red forehead all the time? <laughs> it's not good. It's not a good look. It's fucked up, dude. Why are you gonna hit me with a red forehead already? I'm just saying, like, like that, if you want to always be outside, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, we're I gonna, have fair we're skin. gonna get crispy we, out we here. Actually, did we bring suntan lotion? No, 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 not at all. I brought this inflatable swan. What Does is this count? inflatable swan holding, like Brett? A, what, is what is this though? Is it like a cricket? There's That's one. There's like a cricket on it. Get the fucking cricket off of it. It's fine. He's unofficial. Get it off of it. Don't get him on. Let him live in peace. Show this off. This is more important. What is that? It's finally arrived. The golden squiggly cup here in all of its glory. We got, this is Woo! what it looks like in the packaging as it comes normally. Nice. Some people nice watching right now are like, hey, that's kind of neon yellow. What makes it gold, James? What's the special touch that if makes you could it see, gold? You can actually see it better on the bottom here towards yours when I twinkle it around. Like there's there's little Twinkies in there. There's little like- Twinkies? Little, <laughs> there's little there's little, little shimmers. Yeah, little Shimmer. shimmers in there, see? You see that as it rolls around? Is that real gold? There's real that's speckets, real, real speckets of gold in there. That, that come with every golden squiggly cup. So this is now the Dude, third, third one, I guess. To, what what the fuck? Anyways, this episode periodically interrupted by the wind howling through this canyon. So if there are weird jump cuts, even more so than usual, that's because the wind knocked something over or fucked up a mic. Uh, legitimately, whatever bug was on this swan was trying to pierce the skin of the swan with its mouth. I watched it do it like five times and then it flew away when it realized it couldn't it drink the nectar. It, was, it thought it was food, yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyways, these are coming to the ART store soon, long awaited. They're pretty cool. I think they're cooler in person. You may not get a, a proper sense for them on camera right now, but I, I do like it. Uh, let's go around briefly, identify ourselves for those who don't know. This week's special guest. <laughs> don't we just you just insert the name tag? On yeah, I mean, there's lower thirds. You don't guess, really. I'm but honored to be here. Welcome. I'm honored. This is your first time. Third. First time on the CCTV. Yeah. Wow. I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> You said you liked the drive up here. By the way, real quick, yeah. James and I were talking, and every week people are like, hey, we like the show, but like, can you make it longer? And every week I'm like, yeah, we'll go somewhere comfortable, and then we can do like a longer podcast. And every single week it becomes so hot and unbearable immediately that we just have to like end at like 40 minutes or whatever. So that's going to be one of these weeks. But we're going to find somewhere nice where we can just relax and not rush and not worry about the ranger coming down the mountain and throwing us down. But anyways, you were saying, you like, you like this scenery? Sorry, buddy. Yeah, no, I, th I like this set. I kind of want to like... This set? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is I our mean, set. It's a moving set, set. I definitely yeah. would come out here and like climb one of these mountains. Oh my god, look day. how many bugs are over here. Can you see Holy that? Holy shit. I went to pee in the shrubs and like a bunch of them swarmed me. Also, there's a bug in my hair right now. It's nature, boys. Fuck, oh, man. Check for ticks. Jesus yeah. Christ, there's so many fucking bugs here, dude. It's okay. They're attracted to like the sweat. Will you hold this? They're coming for it. Hey, do you guys think at any point... Is it time to crack open a cold one with the boys? Oh, give me a Ooh, beer ski. Is, is there any... Are you okay, Trevor? Sorry, bug flew on my nose. Yeah. Just a, a bug flew into Trevor's nose. I'm not sure what I was trying to say. Whenever you're feeling down, enjoy a nice, refreshing taste of a Takata. Here with the boys. This is, what is this, Mexican beer? Authentica. <laughs> it's the Mexican PBR. Tecate. Mexicana. Good old Tecate. Crispy, crunchy, our unofficial sponsor of the CCT podcast until somebody actually sends us money. It's like, it's not super bad. What does it say when it's saying the bold taste of Mexico? Is that like they canned the bold taste you of Mexico? You guys have legit never had Tecate? No. I know you have, ha, but no. you guys will live sheltered, privileged little, what do you normally what? drink? Bud Light? No. Coors? I usually drink water. Milk? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay. I understand. Do, do you guys I mean, we're it? really allowed to, like, beer's, like, pretty, you know, high up when it comes to not so healthy, you know, so, like, you, I don't really drink beer too much anymore. This so is probably the first like beer I've had health This is, this is you know? thin, refreshing swill. It's not like those thick lagers you might be used to. This is just, like, straight up, like, it's 110 degrees, and I work in a factory, and I need a nice, cold, quick beer. You know what I mean? Out fishing with the boys? Yeah, like, I'm, like, I don't have any money. And this is the only real alcoholic beverage I can afford. I love it. For my family and I. It tastes like that Texas beer that we fucking have. Lone Star? Yes. It is a lot like Lone Star. There you can go. You get these hey. At the Dollar Tree? 
A Dollar Tree? It's not that cheap. They don't sell alcohol at fucking Dollar Tree, Joe. Do you guys think at any point in time we're actually going to have a, a topic list here? No. Or I, I got some we questions just, I'd like to ask, but, you know, it's informal. Joe, how's yeah. life? <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah, we asked, Good. we asked Trevor in last time, I guess. How he life, didn't. Yeah, how, he didn't know what was going on in going. his life. Yeah. Yeah, he said nothing. I mean, he. But just, you guys live together, so like, what's yeah, going I'm, on in your neck of the woods while you're living with now him? Now you live together. Yeah. I mean, Trevor's a great roommate. I mean, we watch movies here and there. Wait, <laughs> Joe's and, looking uh, at Trevor. Yeah, are, you, are, you, are you who are you talking? Oh to? yeah, wait. I forget, yeah, I'm looking at Trevor. I'm talking. I'm, this why is are like you talking yeah, not part of this conversation. Yeah, this is like our our roommate evaluation. What? What is this? Rate Trevor as a roommate, he's but don't look at Trevor. He's taking this opportunity to rate him on would, whether or not he's good or bad. I would say he's probably like, like a maybe like a seven and a half to eight. Whoa, that's, depending on the day. What would be a ten for you? Yeah, um, what knocks it? What knocks it down a couple pegs though? Because like that's yeah, like that's like a C plus, man. That's not. Can you say? I know. I probably know why he's saying it. Oh, his aromatherapy. Yeah. That he does. Wait, okay, so wait, why, why is he a seven for you? His aromatherapy. What does that mean? It intrudes on everybody else's, like, area. Smell. Can you speak for yourself? Why is everyone else saying it's I'm, I'm just saying. It's like, true. I mean, you're not saying anything. He does you're, yoga. Yeah, you literally you, are not you saying You literally anything. haven't said anything. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> what? Why are you saying? No, he, he, he's a great roommate. <laughs> no, no, explain That's it. Not Speak the, up. That what is the question. aromatherapy? What does that, that wasn't mean? The question. He's burning incense all the time? Yeah. He does, he like, yoga. He sage oils. Yeah. You do yoga? The same yeah. shit that he does at the office, like, he does He does at home, but it, it's, the difference is it intrudes. I would imagine it intrudes, uh, you know, upon other people. You don't that like it. You smell don't like that, that. nod champa? You're I don't, like, it's not that I don't like it. You lowered him down to a C because, because yeah. of I, I said I said it was, like, seven and a half to eight. Yeah, it's still, like, a C plus... Low range. B, like a B yeah, minus. Low B. Your dad That's wouldn't pretty take good. You. If I got a, if I got a B in school, I'd be pretty happy about that. Yeah, but it's not like straight A's. You're not gonna it's get that a, It's reward. not a B plus. It's not like a, he was almost good. It's just one thing. It's, it's like, like a B minus C plus. He's not the best roommate I've had. A ladybug landed on Joe. That's good luck. Is it? Yeah. A yeah fucking it. assassin poison bug landed on us. So I don't know what that means, but no. Trevor's a good roommate. Right, well, <laughs> Why are you backtracking? That's this? it. That's it. He just that's that's as far as he wants to go. I guess that's it. You were you guys were friends in high school. Yeah, we already established that though, like ages ago. I know. But I don't think everybody's caught up. No. I'm not even caught up, and I fucking work with you. Our high school reunion is next year. We're pretty antsy to go. Oh back. yeah. You do want to go to your high school we reunion? We absolutely want to go back. What year is it? Five? I, how old are you? Ten. We're pretty It'd be old. 10. We how graduated in 2008. What? How could it be ten already? When was mine? Mine feels yeah. like it happened another. I mean, it probably did. No way. It's ten already. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. You guys are old as fuck. Yeah, we are pretty old. Wow. Jeez, ten, that, that's a long time ago. Yeah, 10 years. My 20 ten year years. is coming up in four years. Do they do anything for 20 <laughs> years? Do they do anything for 20 years? I don't know. I mean, I guess. Did you go, did I you did go to your 10 I did not go year? to my 10 year anniversary. Let's talk about this, because I think this is worth exploring. Bikers, man. There's a biker gang on the, on the Hell's Highway. Woo! Hey, by the way, I also brought this grill. We're gonna grill some dogs What's up? while we're out here too. I got us this gas grill some hot dogs. so we don't burn down the mountainside. Nice. But love it. Ten year anniversary came, I said. I think I just got stung by something. Yeah, it happened to me earlier. I got stung in my back. By an by airsoft? A mosquito? I don't BB. know. <laughs> um, so you skipped your ten year? I was like, look, I'm friend I I'm in contact with the people I'm already friends with. Why would I wanna go and see a bunch of sad sacks? Well, what were you doing at the time? Were you still with Machinima? I was no. This is pre machinima. I think I was just working mercenary freelance film world stuff. Oh, see, well then that's. Like and I was like, but look, I was like, I live in L.A. I, 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 you know, I left my hometown. A lot of these people, and I'm not shit talking on people, but the people who had the kids out of yeah, high school. A little shit talking. Right a little now. bit of shit talking. Even <gasps> the popular people. You see these Facebook like uh, photo albums of your of your ten year high school reunion. Oh yeah. There's a bee right there. Yeah, no shit, Joe. We're like in the middle of a fucking <laughs> forest here, man. Like, there's a lot of things. There are many on. bees in the woods. <laughs> Look. What? Look, right there. What do you want me to do about it? Why are you Joe? interrupting this smooth conversation? Oh, the smooth conversation. Like the smooth, refreshing taste, taste of, of Tecate, Tecate original. Yes. Mm. Mm. I love Tecate. Anyways, look, bottom line is after it happened, I looked at all the photo albums and I was like, wow, that was really depressing. Here's a bunch of all the popular kids looking way older and haggard and their kids walking around the park. And I was like, I don't need to, I'm, I don't need to see that. It was, you know, what do you think you're going to see? You're going to go and it's not, it's Everyone's going to have a kid. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not what we want to see. It's what we want to show off. You want to lord over them. We want, we want to be the ones that are standing there like, you know. You'd be like, check out these DCs. It. 
We we did it. We did it, guys. I feel like a lot of people <laughs> aged like worse than we did. Probably tremendously, yeah. Can like, you tell us about your hometown? What's the vibe like? It's New Can England, right? Paint so me a it's picture. Pretty, it's the ghetto. Like, what do you what do you mean? It's the city. It's shit. Pennsylvania it's ghetto. Fucking, yeah. yeah. Pennsylvania what is, what ghetto. is Pennsylvania ghetto? Pennsylvania ghetto is it's like, like wannabe. Yeah. It, wannabe. There, there's a lot of wannabes. Wannabe. There's wannabe like some. What? Yeah. Wannabe what? Sometimes some Amish Ballers? come in there. Like gangsters. Amish. Yeah. It's yeah, like you get so. into a school fight and then you're top dog pretty much. That's all you really have to do. It's like prison. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, no, you don't have to like execute or kill anyone it's, it's not like a you go in you pick a fight with the biggest guy and then you're and then you're a big it's like fish. a fake prison yeah <laughs> Okay. So yeah. what does that mean for your reunion? You're gonna go and what, people are gonna be there with their kids. I mean, they're at least orderly though. They had a designated spot for their fights. Like it was one park. <laughs> and I shit oh, you not, yeah, yeah. when there was be a, when there was a fight, no one would fight in the schools for the most part. But they would designate a spot, at the same park, and everybody would go to the same park to watch the fight. So it's like you, mm. you kind of built up an audience. It was kind of like its own. It's like the gladiator, gladiator arena. It's it like, like a fucking UFC match, dude. The, the, the question is: There a fight today? Was something that happened in our school almost every day, but it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't like a UFC fight or an MMA fight. It was like a you know, is there a school fight today? Was and then there, everybody would hike up. Did you ever participate? Absolutely, Either I did. The, the park. You did. You yeah, were in fights. No, 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 not in a fight. I watched because okay. the park was right up yeah. the street from me. So like, I mean, I'd, it's like three, four blocks up the street. I'd go watch. There was, was there? Was there? Sorry, was there like like sequence fights? Like here's the main event. And here is like the opening fight. <laughs> no, nah, like the just ninth like, graders <laughs> and the seniors fight right afterwards. It'd just be like, like one general one. It's like the pay per view. So it was like a pay per view. It's like they're, a, they're, it's they're like wise. a, it's, it's kind of like this podcast how it moves. Like there was like, so the one instance that I remember was there was these girls fighting at the park, the park Shit. that, a diva match. Yes, a diva match. Ooh. At the park that everybody designates as the the fight spot. So I went up there, we watched that, ended like two seconds. I think one of them had like their hair ripped out or something and that was it. <laughs> okay. But then like somebody yells out, it's like, oh, there's another fight at this other park. So then the big mob of people, they then collectively go to the next park to watch mm. the other one. So it's like from park to park to park. Wow. It's kind of how it works, I guess. But like, I feel like we they, just want to go just to like, you they know, usually were there. Over, like said, there was yeah. one I remember in the school and like I filmed it. I remember I filmed it and the principal like, like called me over like down to his office because he wanted like the video of like proof <laughs> or something, whatever. Also, I mean, <laughs> when you say that, ago. he's saying principal, we had over the course of four years, right, high school, we had three different principals. Yeah, yeah. They were in and out like that, that much. Wow. That's how shit. Do they get beat up? <laughs> they had to leave. They just I fucking, forget. they just they fucking just left. Like they, it. Yeah, they, they just, they would leave. I don't know. Will there be a fight at your high school reunion? Knowing what you know about your class, will there be a fight? Is nah, it that man. kind of trashy? I feel I like think, they're all. But they're, I, I, I mean, it'd be cool if there was. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, we definitely would film it then. Yeah. Like, like you said, they're all like star. aged and like they're all just kind of like. They're all kind of like. I think they mellowed out with their age. Now no, they're just. No, I mean, like, it's like it's a little bit lower than mellow. I, it's borderline depressed. Broken. Yeah. Yes. Is yeah. how you would say. So, like, like, I don't know if they would want to fight. <laughs> They don't have the energy to fight anymore. There's they some like, there's some military guys that came out yeah. of our graduating class, but that's that's about it. They're like the hometown heroes. Yeah. So. I'd say they're the best out of anyone, like successful wise. What are these fucking bugs? They love this golden squiggly cup. They think it's a flower. It's Look at the, this cute beetle. Look at this little guy. The vibrant. He can't see that he's, because it's nowhere near the no, camera. No, I'm, just, I'm showing like, you. He's gonna. Oh, he's trying to sting me. Get away from me. I'm putting this swan on the ground. There's too many. There's too much fauna here. How about I uh, stir up the grill? Yeah, you All can right, do so that. are you gonna go to your reunion? Uh, I mean, no, yours isn't looming, no, but no, I don't think so, man. There's there's like too many kids now that seemingly like know me from from my class. Oh, yeah, that's true. They pulled his like pictures. Yeah, from, pulled my like, yearbook they, and yeah, shit. They pulled all and, that. Yeah, I don't shit. really want to be part of that, you know. Yeah. You might be a celebrity though when you go back. That's like, not a good thing though. No. Like I not know. where I'm from. No. I'm not like, not. hey, everybody, look at me, because I have the same situation. Like everyone's had kids. And stuff like the highest somebody has gotten is like buying a house at 20 and having like a full time welding job. That would be like successful in my town, you know? So I gotta I go back and look like an asshole. So, look, there's wind. You're a single dude though, and you're going back. Was there any girl that got away in your high school days where now you can roll up and be like, hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, uh that's really good. That's. That's yeah, a good, you know, um, let's, let's put old, old business to, to rest, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things um, are a little different now. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's just a piece of uh, dog hair. Um, <laughs> was there one that got away? In high no, I feel like I feel like I already 
I, I already went up the ladder of like, you know, I, I dated like the, the cheerleader captain and stuff. So at this you point, you dated the there. cheerleader captain yeah. in high school. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, wow. I was the mascot, dude. That's how it is. Love story. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a real story. I swear to God, I'm off that. this podcast no, for like... No, I'm not This is a true story. You yeah. were the high school mascot. Yeah. We have a rule now, right? Chili. No memeing no on the No memeing on the stories that are like that. meme on the podcast anymore. Cheers to that. Yeah, no Only yeah. true no stories of the Highway California Patrol. Absolutely. Who's that beer? All right, so Phyllis, and you were the mascot. What was the mascot? A bulldog. Are <laughs> you really a mascot? I was. I was only Were like. Really? I was only twice though. I wasn't like the Dude. official one. Mm. Like I borrowed this the suit for like a a, a rally, and like a like a pep rally. Thing. Yeah, like a pep rally. That shit don't count, dude. No. Why? You were just a pep rally, fucking what? He got it's in the, the official. Yeah, it's the sick. official mascot, yeah, though. It wasn't like a fucking. I thought boot, it was. Like, like, I thought you were like there at the game and you were. No, I didn't. No, that'd be. No, I was. I was. I was in the game because I would. I'd play sports, so I. Oh. I couldn't do both. even better. Celebrity dawning of that. Mascot. I just want to know what the life of a mascot is, though. Like I thought this would be some insight to no, that. No, no, because I again I only wore it a couple times. But that's not. <laughs> that's not your, extravagant. This is the conversational though. trajectory of you're like, tell me about life as a mascot. I'm yeah. like, tell me about banging the cheerleader <laughs> captain. <laughs> we, we have different agendas. But you're right. You're right. Okay. He so, said he already went past that though. That would he, he went over. But that he did already. it. Right? I was just curious dark, about this lifestyle. Times, man. No, I didn't I'm, realize you were the Riverdale. Fucking no, you're making me go MVP. down this track. I, I left Massachusetts for a reason, brother. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to go. Go back and be like, "Hey, You're what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on this high school that I, I really didn't like going?" So you're not going to go back. Couldn't oh, pay you to go not. back. I, well, that's not necessarily true because I feel like a ten year that might be something. Because ten years, a lot can happen. People can die, multiple kids, divorces. At this point, let's just go yeah. back and be like, "Hey, what's happening in this hotel?" Die. We had a teacher die. I heard. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I can't really tell what's more dramatic, the 10 year or the 20 year. Because like 20 years obviously is a much bigger span of time, mm. but maybe less happens in those 10 years immediately following high 20? school. Do they do things for 20? Yeah, I think there's like, are there's in like 50. It's I mean like funeral 50, proceedings. 50 is just funerals, I guess. So I think 20 everyone's, is like kind of the big one, dead. right? It's like, do you, you know kids. I feel like you have to stop at some point. Like who's like, you do need hey, I gotta go back to my state for a 50 year uh, reunion. If you're still trying to relive your high school alive. glory 30 years later, just kill yourself. <laughs> and maybe that's the wrong. Maybe that's the wrong response. But like, who cares? What is there left to talk about? Thirty years out, you're like, remember when we sat in the junior hall that one lunch period? Yeah, especially when we for the people that moved. Like, what are you even gonna like? Oh man, I haven't seen you in forty years. Wow, you're looking great, man. How's it going? I. Yeah. How, how often do you even think about high school? And I realize you guys are ten years kind of behind me. I think it's the only, the only reason we're talking about it is because it's coming up. Like it's yeah, like we're, it we're reminded that. you that, yeah. but like when was the last time you earnestly thought about anything that involved high school? Maybe like, every, every, once every, every probably, yeah. like every couple months. I think the like last, the last week that, that Joe and Trevor were, were in my place, like I pulled up Facebook and me and Joe were like checking Looking out, it out like yeah. what, what was going on. You gotta down. check in. It, that's pretty much it though. So it's like, it's just like a check in. Whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, this person did what? Whoa, this person turned into what? And then you check out. I had to make another Facebook for like Tinder. So, <laughs> you know, I, I just started adding some people. Is it connected? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, connected. Yeah, yeah. You pull pictures from your social media for Tinder. Right, so a few people from high school, high school added me. And so mm -hmm. through that, I've kind of like seen what they're up to. And then through them, like other parties from high school, because they, yeah. you can like posts and then th those show up on your home feed. So people I could not care about at all, like show up on my home feed. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a little bit of snooping, but at, at the same time, it's yeah, it's a little sad. You gotta get you gotta get closer to it, and then you'll you'll start thinking as to whether or not you want to go. So when what? is yours? To the, to the, to the reunion. When, when did you mine? guys graduate high school? I was 11, so I'd be 11. I graduated in 2001. Like years left. Yeah. <sighs> you graduated what year? 2008. 2008, and you're 2011. There's that much of an age difference? Yeah, yeah, dude. And you guys are the same year? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're fucking old. It's my birthday pretty soon. I'm I remember 11 because we had to line up for the <laughs> pictures. We had to form a, like human formations of the number 11, and they took like aerial shots, you know, from above for like the yearbook. Mine was like class of one. Everybody thought that was like fucking hot shit. What's a good What's yeah, a good one. What's a good retirement age for somebody in the industry? Because I talked to 23. I, I, talk, I talked to Jeff a little bit where I was like. 
when the fuck are you going to retire? <laughs> I legit said that. <laughs> like, that's just a question, like... That's the kind of question you get from someone that makes you want to just, like, <laughs> I go just into know, seclusion. Because I've, I've never heard of somebody in, like, in the industry, in the scene, like, actually just being like, all right, I'm done, I retire. There's people that just kind of fade away, and they're gone, like, you know. They were t- uh, like, Jeff had mentioned uh, the Fred kid. You know, you don't hear about him anymore. Oh, yeah. he, he went to he went to Nick. He made like a movie, and then he like pieced the fuck out. I guess he didn't need it. He anymore. recognized he that everyone hated him, and he right. was like, "I don't care. I'm rich." But he probably he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't probably keep up the shtick either, as he's yeah. getting older. So like, where did his he, hairline did starts he, receding like, like me, channel. and he's like, "Hey, I'm me. I'm I'm Fred." Yeah, he sold his channel. I'm pretty sure there's he like to, yeah, there's like yeah, there's different videos. But how do you? And shit. But you sell it, and then what? It's just archived. No, no, no. It's not. He has a new one. He has a new one. Trevor says he has a new one. He came out of the closet? He's gay. Trevor, if you want to talk on this podcast, why don't you just fucking throw him <laughs> The one topic that he actually has insight on. Trevor, is that, is Trevor that won't more talk being... when he's on the podcast, but when he's fucking filming, he's fucking yeah, Wikipedia over here. I have a lot of insightful here, information fucking... behind the camera right now for you guys. I first say it was just about your life, and I don't have a life, so it's not much I can talk Damn. about. Damn. Right. Wow. He says he doesn't have a life. All right. So like that, that kind of answers the point, though. So technically, then, if, he's, if he restarted again, he's he not retired, He came out the closet. Though. Shane Dawson came out the closet too, and his channel is Ooh, all back up now. Hot dogs going. Sorry, Why'd you make me. that look when I said Shane Dawson, James? I can't see what I'm doing. Just Keep not, talking. Just not much of a fan. Just leaking gas. Why is that? Oh, dude. Keep talking. I. This is a different topic. There's, I smell. I gone. smell. Wait, 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 wait. Joe just started on something. Blows up, dude. It will blow up. I, oh, I want to hear this. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof. Fine. A dream. Oh! Last night. Right? And, and Martin Luther King. I wanted to... I wanted to... Be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? It's not really that big of a deal, but it, it was a it was a dream where, like, I don't know how it, how it began, but like, so it was Trevor and me, Trevor and I, and we like were like, dude, let let we gotta do this, and we like went to a bank, and we like we started we were like we decided to rob it. It's too fucking windy. It's not and, working. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get any food. So anyway, somebody we, else want to we get under the ground? We're gonna rob the bank and. Uh, and then you came. Oh! Sorry, buddy. And you got, like, then, like, the police were chasing you. And, uh, you got, like, caught. Wait, when did Alex even get into the stream? Like, I, no, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it was, like, Trevor and I were, like, going to, like, into a bank. And we were going to, like, like, it, it was, like, at nighttime. Yeah. And no one was there. So Alex met you there? Yeah, I guess, like, Alex was, like, in another room in the bank, okay. like, getting shit. I guess, and he was with you. Because you were, like, watching, like, standing guard. And then, uh, like, Trevor and I, like, got all the money, and we were like, dude, we got it, we got it. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, the police, like, came, and they're like, they, I don't I don't think they got you. I think you just were running away from <laughs> just them. just ran. You just were running away from them. And then, I like, did do track, so it makes sense yeah, that I ran so I, I, I just had to share it just because. Yeah, I get you. This was an interesting That's nice. Thing. I like how I'm not there because, you know, I don't need to rob a bank. I'm already pretty well off. I don't need to rob anybody. Right. So Makes think, sense why I'm not there. Can we not get these hot dogs going? Do you want to try to, you got to light underneath the thing. I'll turn the gas back on if okay. someone wants to. Well, uh, speaking of money and, and retirement and see all, the, of, all of see these the line? things. Sorry. The Sorry. line? See, there's two little, there's two little holes underneath. You want to, it's not going to blow up. It's fine. Can I put it in this way? No, you're supposed to light from underneath. I don't like this at all. It's fine. Why is everyone scared of propane? You ever watch King of the Hill? Briefly. What? Why is it, there's so much... There you go. Did you, did you get it? Is it oh, lit? Oh, yeah, it's going. Uh, is it? Yeah. You say yeah? Lindsay yeah. can hear it? Okay. I see the, uh, oh, okay, I can't okay. see it. All right. Okay, good. good. We got a little grill going. We're going to grill some dogs, boys. Yeah, it's going. I brought you these Ooh. jumbo <sighs> turkey franks. And look, we got little, you got mm. little, look at this. You can have a little fun little campfire experience, even though we're just on the shoulder of the fucking. Ooh, oh, oh, why it's is already, it? Why is it? Huh? Will you open these? Yes, sir. This is for you. We're just like having a little break here. And having a little morning. food a little break. Little Memorial Day break here, guys. Only on this podcast mm. here, CCTV. Make sure to follow us on Rooster Teeth first, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Turn Ooh, on that, that really notifications cool. bell. Um, also, make sure to donate to us through PayPal. We don't have that set up, but Ooh. we will soon because we're running out of money. YouTube's not paying us enough to make this shit happen. So, 
Um, ooh, who's got a... This is a veggie Vinger? dog. That's pretty oh, good. It's oh, it's a veggie yeah. dog. Wait, why do I have two? Why'd you give me two? James One's for one. James. You need a, a dog stick. What are oh, you doing? The grill's shit. not even hot yet. What? Why are you... Why are you... <laughs> Take this and put it on the stick. What the fuck are we gonna do? Is this your first time at a campsite? This isn't a campsite, by the way. That's just sad. That's just a waste. Here, take a take. That one will cook. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It's fine. It's yeah. just turkey. Everyone, calm. Put it on the stick. What are you oh, doing? My bad. You took it out of the what? pack and it, you're holding the stick. <laughs> this is like when you take your kid fishing and you realize your kid can never survive in the outdoors. You're like. We're gonna have a good father-son bonding time, and then your kid just falls in the lake. Do you guys have father-son bonding? Like, how many of you actually had a, a, a presence? A father uh, a figure father. in our yeah. life? My old man took me fishing, made me try to play Little League for like six years of my life, even though I didn't give one single fuck about Little League. Uh, he I was loved, there. I loved Little League. For sure. You loved it? I love yeah. sitting in the dugout fucking eating candy. It looks like it's just, only a, just, I played. Ew. I played Can you baseball. throw that off the cliff, Isn't please? it bad to give yes. food to the... Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it's bad. covered in dirt. It's, it's like bad. Bad. Don't pollute. Don't pollute. Never be a dirty bird. Can you read your down? That's noise pollution. In the city or in the woods, top keep America looking. I also brought. Yeah, because it's, like yeah, it's like 100 degrees out here. Kind of happens with cookies. What? I was gonna. I was. I had a good transition from the fucking retirement and money talk. Okay, real that quick. That was like eight topics ago. No, 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 no it wasn't. No, you're, no, right, wasn't. you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's Park dream it? journal was before this one. Dream that is. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, is but, true. yeah, but then he was talking. We had a lot of interruptions. Real quick, what sports everybody play in high school, and then we go to James. What sports None. everybody play in high school? Like None. None. Were they only no. played sports? No, I ran cross country. Like track, wrestling, and baseball. Okay. This is what I played. I wasn't allowed. Why? I have one kidney. You have one kidney? You're not mean. Really? You have one kidney. No, I'm not mean. Why won't they let you? You play? have one kidney? Because if if you play a contact sport like football yeah. or something, and your you kidney get hit, gets oh, fucked. You get fucked Kidneys up. are it's like a it's a uh, redundant. Mm -hmm. You've got, started, you've got more than you need. But I started amateur I'm wrestling cooking. until they found out, and then like I, they didn't let me anymore. Who's not eating healthy right so, now? So like I I couldn't I couldn't do anything when I. When I signed up for football, the, no the, the coach her cookies. came. She made uh, these cookies just for Lindsay, us. Lindsay, I'm I'm on a diet. We're all eating. I'm the only fine. Fucking, take a bite. Take I'm a the bite. The only fucking fat ass that's gonna eat I'll cookies. Split a, I'll split yeah. a cookie with you. Cause, Cause Lindsay, the beer's man, enough for me. Them. They smell fucking great. Thank you for making them. You better fucking eat one. I I don't. Want, I really don't want one. Give me a bite. Everybody, take a bite of this cookie. This is communion. Okay, I'll take a bite. It is good. It's a real good okay. cookie. Give James a little bit. I don't want that though. That's fine. It actually is really good. I guess I gotta finish it, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm with you, brother. Um, we all shared a cookie. It's cutting season. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, like, two of us played like some type of A sport. <laughs> this is why when Subject challenges us to volleyball, we're just gonna lose. Because no one has, no, we, don't, we hate sports. I mean, maybe, mm -hmm. you, you, who's gonna carry? I don't know. We're stronger volleyball? than them. We're all stronger than them. So if, if, the, if the game is, just overpower Sugar Pine 7 with brute strength, then we'll win. Mm -hmm. They signed with Rooster Teeth. Can we just rent right? out like yeah. an auditorium instead and just play like dodgeball? That would be more Ooh, fun. That would be fun. I would rather play dodgeball than volleyball. Yeah, to be if we honest. could rent out like a gym for like yeah. a high school let's gym just or something. Do, let's just do dodgeball instead. I think okay. that would be pretty nice. Ooh, look. The dog's got little marks on him. Like the like the Ooh. rollerboard dodgeball? You know which one I'm talking about? Like you sit on the. Murder fucking, ball? You sit in the, like the board with the wheels on it and you roll around. Did you ever play that? And like, there's medics. I know what you're oh talking yeah, about. yeah, 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 yeah. I do know I what you're talking think, about. I don't think we ever did. I, I thought you were on one for a second, but suddenly yeah. my brain just flashed back to 20 years ago right. on the little roller scooters, and you're like, eh. Yeah. That's really fun. Then medics and stuff would yeah. come out and they drag you off when you get hit. Let's do those rules, because I've seen I saw Funhouse play Rooster Teeth and regular dodgeball, but like we can one up it with medics. I don't know where the fuck you have to break into a school gym and get those little rollers. Probably do climb. that. Just, just go to a college one. They're usually, I used to go into a college like uh, basketball court before, and they, they have those little roller out. scooters. No, From, I'm like, just saying like school? I'm just saying that like the the court itself. We uh, bring all the equipment, uh, okay. but like yeah. the court school, itself. School gyms, middle school gyms, they're not really secure. You could easily break into one. We, we saw do one like, in like middle schoolers <laughs> at this point. So I say college, you could at least Joe shaved. Yeah, I'd look like it. I'd probably look like I'm a teenager. <laughs> this goes back to the, like that one uh, time I talked about, like going, you know, in, in back in high school as a high school student and seeing how long I could. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. I might still that do good, that. That was a good scheme. <laughs> That's a good scheme. That was a good scheme. I this might is still heating do that. up, boys. Yeah. 
Uh, James, okay, sorry. Now, what was your uh, topic? You were about to... His retirement plan, Retirement right? plan. Let's I was just saying that. that, like, I, I actually got the, I got the hit the racetracks yesterday. You went to the horse track. Oh, I yeah. seen you tweet about it. I did, I went to the horse track. Is that Santa Anita, Anita horse track? Yeah, it was really nice. I thought, like, I mean, I, th- I thought I would fit in pretty well, you know, just chill out with all the other retirees. Quiet down! Richy rich people in suits because they do have a certain in certain areas they have a dress code. You can't yeah. get in. Yeah, oh, it's like the Kentucky Derby. Are like you still on really? that whole thing where you don't follow the dress code ever just because it's funny, or is it like? <laughs> well, there's other areas where I can go, but like you and, go uh, for this place, I actually did want to wear like a collared shirt and stuff. I wanted to see you if I could. I wanted buy you one to wear there. that. You got that white suit you wore for your food challenge, right. and you just rolled up on the fucking <laughs> oh. horse races. That's like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's actually cool. <laughs> there was a guy in like a baby blue. Suit that yeah. was kind of like next to me. That was just the high roller. They, they probably were just throwing out like whatever. <laughs> but it was pretty difficult to like. It, like you had to learn how to bet, and so it's a it's a weird system there. It's it's not like, once you get once you learn it though, you're good to go. But like the way it works is they have like kiosks, kind of like Vegas. I guess they all have electronic stuff now. Uh, but you have to go to a kiosk, print out a voucher, and then use the voucher to bet. Mm, and you yeah, can yeah, bet yeah. on like each individual race. You can bet like all across the board. And like they have, so like I have, I actually. Do you see what it. I was telling you about? Where it's like Mr. Lee's like top picks, and you can choose like, you can you can like. I they brought give you the house daily recommendations. Program. Yeah. The daily program here. So like. Is it Mr. Lee? What's the guy's name? It's like. It's each ro- each bah. each one is different. So like there's a list of different horses. It's each race is different though. Yeah. So it's right. like yeah, yeah, yeah. they're they're all different horses. So they yeah. have like the name. They have. All of the info they have, what the the odds are, at least in the book. But when you're there, they have on screen they have the odds like uh, in real time, and then that kind of determines what your payout is. Uh, and are shit. they from like different countries? Uh, the horses? This one says bred, yeah, bred in they, California. They bred tell you where they were bred. Yeah. It's like California. Everyone on this page is bred in California, honestly. Yeah, and then on on the left side here they have like a description of like what they did in the past couple of races. So like yeah. you're supposed to, you know, obviously for the people that are really into it, you're supposed to like yeah. conform on all this information and like make an educated guess, I guess, Princess as to which horse. Dorian. Kentucky <laughs> Derby just happened Princess. recently. Did Over it? There? Have you seen that? No. Yeah. Some fucking horse one. But I, I just I got to see like how how into it people are over there, and they have like yeah. pamphlets and stuff of just information upon information of of their guesses, their previous guesses. They have like monitors set up inside where uh, like you can see other races, so not necessarily the ones at that track. So you can bet on any track. Yeah, when the Kentucky Derby was happening, you can bet on those big yeah. races from there. It's cool. So it's kind of like the Pepsi Center, but they have like monitors in there. It's like as if people are watching the fucking stock exchange and they're just like all staring at it. Just like, yeah, go, go, go. So it's like they go inside and outside, inside and outside. It's not cooked at all. Mine's a veggie are dog, so it doesn't really are matter. Are the names of them? Yes, that's what, the name of them. Where's the D? I actually bet on where's the D. He lost. Damn, dude. Damn. I, uh, I, I didn't, I, I basically like, I put in maybe 80 bucks, I want to say. Uh, and then I got back, I was up by like, I was up to like 150, I think, that I had won. Wow. Nice. And in the last race, I bet $50 and I lost it all. So like, I was back down to like even, I'm like at 77, I have a voucher. So I basically spent three bucks. That's pretty good. That's, pretty That's good decent. Thing. A day of entertainment where you come out even is pretty solid. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. I, I just don't. I usually lose a lot of money when I go to places. Well, there's so many Same. different ways you can bet. You can bet, <laughs> you can bet on one horse to win straight up. You can bet on one horse to win either, either first or second. You can bet on one horse to get first, second, or third. You can bet on four races in a row, five races in a row, six races in a row. But like, you have to do that at the beginning of the day, I think. Yeah. So you you don't really get the information. You don't get the odds. Like you just kind of have to base it on your own little pick. But the buy-in is pretty cheap. It's like, like you could. Bet a dollar if you want. Like you, you don't have can to. Can you bet, bet like a penny? I don't think you can bet that low. No, there's like minimum bets, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Pro- propane tank. Um, <laughs> it's gonna blow. It's a real mix. It really is though. It's like you got people who are like there for like, oh, I'm I'm spending the big bucks, and people who are like, I need to win this horse race. I yeah. need to pay my rent. They, they even have like an IRS crazy. section that's set up in there too. Because an IRS section. Like I guess if you get a, if you like like if you get a big enough money, payout, they have to like taxes. deduct the taxes. Yeah, right. they have to do all that right then and there. It's pretty intense. So they do they do a lot of like crazy shit. But once you learn how to 
like when you learn how to do the initial bets and stuff, then you can really get going. And like, I, I don't know, I liked it way more than what I thought I would. It's really fun. I really think it's great, especially if you can go out there, get a couple drinks, you know, and just spin a. It's beautiful out there, right? You got the yeah. scenery on well, the Well, they track. have like, there's like two, technically two tracks. There's like a turf one with the grass or whatever, and then there's like a dirt one. But then they do like different variations of what they run. Sometimes it'll be half of it. Sometimes it'll be the whole thing. Sometimes it'll be like out here they start, but then they do like around like it's like a, a six almost. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, oh the fucking <laughs> the fucking police are fucking and they find us every week, man. Search and rescue, boys. Jesus. Um, it's only matter of time. The only yeah. really bad thing is like if a horse breaks its leg during a race, they bring out a little cart with a fucking. Like a little curtain, and they, 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 they like kill it on their track. I heard yeah, they, they do. do. I heard they do. I thought that was like old. They no, used to do, do they that. do? A horse isn't going anywhere if it fucking. Breaks I heard that they, they fucking like scream in pain, and then they just they have to put it out. It's That's a little so curtain, so no one has to watch it. And they have like, to put it out. <sighs> there was an HBO show called Luck that like got canceled or whatever because like horses died when they were filming it, and it was, they shot it out there. I think. So. Can you put the top on this? And cook this. Yeah, we can put the top on it. I got some uh, marshmallows too, boys. Mm. You gotta, I don't know how you're gonna. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's really, the life it, for it's you. It's really huh? cool. I mean, that's, I feel like. That's your retirement I, plan? I kind of want to just do it every week now. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, I'm getting addicted to it. You had that much it. fun? Yeah. I mean, when I'm, when I'm not spending that much and yeah. like, I usually, I started betting just like, uh, I did wins at first. I went to Twitter that's and they it. failed me. No, I'm but really, like. I didn't finish my first one. Oh, you're, you're driving. Never mind. Yeah. I started yeah, I doing a. Placement bets, so just like first or second, just to kind of increase my odds. So I'd do like twenty dollars on a horse for to just to place first or second, and then I'd pick like two horses. So I'd be like twenty and twenty, and then I just you gonna, know, are you gonna try to increase my odds? And my payout was like I get a good amount. You think you're gonna put more money into it? What? You like, want me to bet more? No, I'm saying, <sighs> are you? Like, you think you would like you keep going up or like? I it, was just going off of my voucher to see like I, what I was trying to do was create a voucher of of my spendings. And then go off the voucher and be like, all right, if I'm up 150, I'll use the difference to bet. And if I keep going higher, higher, I'll just keep, I'll work off the voucher. So like the vouchers are good for a year and you can just keep the vouchers. So I was just going to use the same $77 voucher next time I go and I'll just bet that. Beautiful. I don't know how to cash out yet. But. I think you just go up and say, I'd like to cash out. It's a kiosk. Though. Yeah. The just, the, well, the, the, that? So. There's so many, look. Yeah. Insects are they're just swarming. They're, like, they're, they're actually the dogs. swarming us at this point. We're actually being swarmed all around us. This Insects. beer's getting warm. So James loves the horse tracks. What has been your favorite thing that, you, that you've discovered since moving? What's your favorite know. spot? My favorite spot? Yeah. I'm trying to get him to come to the horse tracks. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, gonna, say I'm definitely going to go. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been at Target a lot. Yeah. He rides his bike around. Oh, really? shit. Yeah, I've been, I've been right, like, I haven't done it too much lately because I got to get my bike tuned up but I, I mean I ride my motorcycle like that and I definitely come out here and like ride around in the mountains you better be cool. careful might fucking slide off the these, yeah these edge people are these people are reckless They'll I was like, telling him the, the other day that fucking biker guy clipped your clipped your mirror yeah on the highway yeah where were we coming back from uh we were coming the back junkyard? from the last yeah the junkyard yeah some biker That's just like crazy. clipped my my mirror and just kept going I was like that probably hurt you way more than it hurt my car but god damn damn yeah because he probably like like his hand probably hit yeah, it. Yeah, he did. And he was like, ooh, and just kept going. I was like, yeah. okay, bye. You could fucking break your hand if you did, like, jeez. Yeah. Well, he didn't stop and worry about my car. Because so you were rolling down the window. Yeah. You were going to fucking, like, you were going to fuck him up. Like, he was gone. <laughs> that guy was gone. Yeah. He didn't want to stick around. You got to be careful. But that's cool. I didn't know you had a motorcycle. What kind of motorcycle do you have? It's a uh, Vulcan. Ooh. Kawasaki Vulcan. Cool. I, I, I might, I might sell it and get like, a, like sounds a ninja. cool. I don't even. I, yeah, it's right in my mind. I'm like, is it cool? It's a cru like a cruiser. It's yeah. like a, it's yeah. like, a okay. chip, like a chips one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cruisers are fun. That's kind of yeah, what no, I was thinking about getting I for might, a while. I, I, I used to have like a sport bike. Yeah. But then I, I sold it and I got that. Sports bikes are trouble, especially in LA. Yeah. It's like you are going to die on the fucking. Yeah. Highway. So I was like, at least that's like safer. But. All right, boys. I'm like a. Get a new one. Okay, somebody. Ooh, yeah, almost, these are looking almost, campfire almost. fresh. Ooh, almost, they're like bubbling. Bubbling crude. We were supposed to like. What uh, are you doing? You flipped on the same side that just got burnt on. Who are you talking to? Me? Joe over here. <laughs> what are you I like doing? it. I like it. You just keep touching it. Like crispy. You like it crispy? I've enjoyed the. Uh, ow, 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 ow. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> the the vibe out here, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, the personal space vibe or what? Like I mentioned in the first podcast, <laughs> is that, you know? there's still just, there's still too many people, man. Yeah, 
No, I'm I'm like I'm saying like specifically like people just don't know that anyone else is around them. Like they just kind of like stop in front of you. They just invade your that does your happen a lot. Space. They just like don't. They, like, Everybody's a pussy though. They won't make eye contact. Nobody looks anybody else in the eye. It's a bunch of fucking zombies walk around here like. <clears throat> you're like God forbid you say hi to someone. They look like they think you're gonna fucking kill them. Like it's a super antisocial fucking. Where do you say hi? Where do you? Where people in the going? street. I walk in my fucking neighborhood and I'm like, oh good morning. I'm like. Older people will, but younger people are like. Have you ever thought like maybe they're just like intimidated? Yeah, you're like they an think intimidating you're gonna, person. Like, yeah. Because it kind of looked like a like a Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, I would be pretty intimidated if you just said like hi to me randomly. I the, wouldn't say how that. The old Asian ladies aren't intimidated. The old. Because they're old Asian ladies. They've seen so many fucking genocides at this point. Like, no fear. Well, the millennials need to get on their fucking uh, you know, level here. My neighbor just moved in to because I I live in like like a like a townhome type of setup. Uh huh. So for a while, I guess he was paying rent, but he didn't move in because. I'm very tight with my landlord. He calls me like every week. He talks a lot. He talks a lot. How's my landlord what? talks really? a lot. <laughs> like I almost don't like picking Lindsay's up because of how much. <laughs> but yeah, he why? called Lindsay before to like because she was helping him my move and he talked to her for like an hour. But why is he so tight with you? Because he's just he's just the type of dude that just likes talking. He like does art stuff or something. So he'll call me and be like, you know, <laughs> Alex, today I was going down really? by the beach and he told you about this. his day. Yeah, yeah. He'll really? tell me about his day. I'll just sit there and be like, yeah, all right. Yeah, sounds awesome, man. Wow. Yeah. Do you I mean, he's just, a nice like, guy. not pick up? So you just, like, no, randomly... No, no, because I'd feel bad, because he's a landlord. So if he's like, hey, your fucking gas is leaking, you know, I'm going to yeah. be like, I'm not talking to I this guess that makes sense. So you just have to just... If your landlord calls, you're supposed to call. Cause How long does he talk for, usually? He might be, like, 30 minutes at a time. Really? Jeez, yeah. that's a commitment, dude. Weekly. <laughs> About yeah. his day. Sometimes <laughs> it's fast if he's like, hey, I need you to... the the The... You know, the construction guy is coming. Can you open the gate for him? You know, he's going to put in the new foundation. We want to get that pavement set up for when the bikes are coming so you guys can park your bikes. And I want to get that foliage in the back out from behind the home. So he tells you about so, just like the planning of the actual yeah, he, area. Yeah, I know everyone oh, you know that you lives there. I know everyone that lives around me from him because he, he specifically moved people in. Like he says, centered around me because I was the first to move in. So he didn't want to move in like old people because I'm like a younger guy. So he's moved in younger people like to my vicinity. So my neighbors moved in and I'm pretty sure he's like a, like a younger African American dude. Um, I think his hot dogs done. are ready. They're ready. But uh, he he's been like renting there without paying. So for a while I've had like no neighbor, and and I heard him move in, and it's it's very loud now. It's it's very loud, and I'm conscious because I stream, so I feel like he can hear me. But the trade off is now like at two or four a.m. He just comes in with girls. He bumps Drake. Oh I'm listening God. to music at like 2:30 a.m. Watching TV downstairs. I hear people being like, yo, 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 shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. This is just verbatim. I'm not. That's okay. literally what they say. That's literally that's, that's what, what they, they say. <laughs> I've filmed it because I'm worried that, you know, I might be streaming and I might get called out and he'll be like, hey, this asshole looks to me is yelling at 1 a.m. To which I'll send my landlord a video of him yelling at 2 a.m. Like I, I have this whole thing So that's why out. if you talk to the landlord to get on his side. Right. I can never be the wrong tenant. Why didn't you just tell him that you're a little bit on the, the uh like the older end, you just you'd prefer to have some older tenants in there. Well, because I, how do I say that? I'm like a younger dude, you know. I, I mean, I'd say that. I'm just like you know. I prefer I, older. I prefer tenants. the company of old people because it's true. Though, I, I, I identify, identify am, I am. as an old. I old identify man. as an older person. I mean, I'm getting to that point already. So it's I know like, you are, but I, are <laughs> I'm still streaming at like twelve, like twelve at night or whatever. And sometimes, mm. yeah, I'm a little bit loud. So I've had like a like people with like kids next door. I'd feel bad. Because now I know the walls are not as thick as I thought they were, so I have to be a little bit more. There's a very I can hear people like, walking up the stairs that are just like the kids are away, they went to college or something, you know. So I, I have to tell him, hey, I need a specific set of older people that live here, no yeah. kids. They have to be partially deaf because I'm kind of loud. Hmm? I don't want them leaving. Well, do you have a, cor a corner, like a corner unit? Yeah, yeah, it's a corner unit. Oh, that's not bad. Corners are pretty. You just set your. Set I your still hear people though. It's it's not the corner anymore. The corner's not my issue. Hmm. It, the issue now is I can hear people walking up and down the stairs. Yeah, I like them. Do you know Can't what I mean? Say I ever had to deal with that. Hey. But I pay a lot. I pay a lot of money, and I have to deal with that now. Thank you for the hot dog. <laughs> I'll enjoy. Ah! Fuck, that's hot. All right, I grabbed the stick. On the, it was burning. Today's podcast. I mean, talk show. I mean, CCTV is sponsored unofficially by. Doritos loaded Cool Ranch um, cheese snacks, breaded cheese snacks. I've got some on what the, the grill fuck right is this now. What the fly doing, bro? He wants your fucking dog. Chill dude. out, bro. We're gonna throw some of these on the grill and experience that 
Crispy Doritos flavored crust loaded with melty cheese. Cooked thoroughly. Mm. I don't know if the grill's actually gonna do it, but you know, you gotta, you gotta live a little, gotta get that sponsorship, so. Tecate, uh, Doritos. Um, do what about the, uh, oh, we haven't got to the marshmallows yet. We're gonna do s'mores. I don't know, we're gonna, I think everything's melting out here. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I guess my point is, you sort of have to pay a lot here to have like, kind of like a, Something like a normal. subpar. Where would you prefer to live? Like state-wise or like setting-wise, like here? Yeah, state-wise. Either, state -wise. either or. Or general, general, you know, generalization. Like a, I don't know, man. I'd probably, I'd definitely like to get like a, like a one-story like home, I think. Like flat, like no stairs. Yeah, but where? Probably Texas. Oh, uh, that's interesting. It's so humid there. <laughs> it's so humid there? Humid. Oh, because right here, right now, I'm really enjoying this fucking heat. Yeah, but it's a dry heat. Like, Imagine you were also, it was like moist. And there were mosquitoes biting you right now, and you were like... Then I'd stay inside with the AC, because 20, 21st but century. But you got to shoot a podcast. It's the 21st century, and we're on a fucking hillside. Yeah, I know. <laughs> would, would you ever leave the state, Brett? It would take a special something. I, I am partial here? to Texas because I got family there. I've been out here over there 10 years now. Okay. All right. But I love Los Angeles. The... What accessibility you, you of ocean. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. okay, you're getting into it. I was going to say, you always ask us what we like about here. Yeah. I was That's gonna why ask I'm asking you. him. Okay, yeah. What do you like about here? I like here? the ocean. I like that if you give a shit about mountains and forests, you can get those too. There's always, it's always, there's always something to do. You're never like... But it's so fucking uh, big. It's not like, yeah, Colorado, you go like three hours north, you get the mountains. Here, it's like you have to fucking drive for 27 hours in traffic before you actually see a cliff. That's not true. We, we drove, how long did it take us to get here today? It was actually quite fast because of Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day, fine. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's a good representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man today's, not good. today's not good. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a good representation. I just think there's just, it's so big and sprawling, there's so much you can do, and then always, there's always like, you're on the edge of something. I feel like if I had moved, it, it just depends on what your values are. I also appreciate the retirement plan where you just go and get some farm and have like 20 fucking dogs on a property and just kind of not give a shit anymore. But, uh, no, 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 uh -oh. are, the, are the loaded Doritos burning? <laughs> Oh, they're oh, they're crispy, boy. Oh, is that my other one? Yeah, that one's in bad uh, shape. Who's gonna eat one of these with me? Nobody. That looks like shit, bro. Come on, <laughs> we need a sponsorship. <laughs> that looks terrible. Joe, will Take you be the brave feet. one? It's too hot. I'll just turn the propane on. Just turn that shit off now. Is it off? I don't know. Did, Come is on. It, is somebody, it off? Somebody be brave. Lindsay says it's off. <sighs> somebody be brave with me. I want this cool. And you're gonna bite it with me? I'll take one bite. Yeah, it's on. That one just popped. Um, I want to hear more about the ideals of California. I love. I, I don't think it's great. As there's like a sweat dripping down my ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> there's beautiful weather most of the time. Like your winters are like rainy, moody, beautiful winters. And summer is like true summer. You go to fucking pool parties and pools and go to the beach. It is like the quintessential fantasy of like idyllic scenery. It's fucking expensive. It's fucking horrible for homeowners. You're gonna spend eight hundred thousand dollars to get a shit, you know, two bedroom fucking house that you would like buy a castle in Utah for. To be fair, Colorado had good scenery too, though. Colorado sucks that, dick. I true. was born in Colorado. What's not fucking? You were comparing. You, like you were comparing scenery here. I gave you a comparison. That's all Colorado has. Your your, your rebuttal that's is it Colorado, sucks dick. Yeah, because that's all it is. Hope you like hiking. Okay, because so what you, else do you need so here, to So here's weather and scenery. And, and, and the enter entertainment industry and, a, and an entertainment capital of the world and a million billion things you can do. What did you do nine, nine times out of ten in fucking, you know, where you lived in Colorado? Smoked weed. Okay. And shivered in the fucking cold. I'm from Colorado. Fuck that. This is pretty good. I never said is Colorado. That? I was just saying you were talking about <laughs> scenery. I was saying Colorado. I think I would be back to Colorado. Well, somewhere like... Seattle that also has like a touch of game industry, you know. Yeah, I guess Seattle's it's more. Nice. It's, I guess it's more like depressing. What is why is weather, Seattle nice? But it's not like it's like by the. Well, it's kind of by. Do you like, live downtown, there, like on the water, or like there's Gig a Harbor? To there. And there's like mountains and shit too. So it's like Seattle's too it's big like for its bridges. The weather is so shit though. It's the weather's like climate. one of the worst places I've ever been to. Yeah, that's if you don't like. Next you know, to New England, depressing... which is just shit. By the way, New England, people shouldn't live in New England. If you live there, move now. That's not a place where people live. You're not supposed to die during winter. People die during winter there. Hmm. This isn't fucking Jamestown, 1756. <laughs> you can move. Yeah. One time, anyway. in, I'm gonna end on this. One time <laughs> when I was in college in Colorado, it was in the middle of winter. 
you know, the, the, the dark was super long, right? The days were really short. And I had an irrational thought some night in college where I was like, what if the sun doesn't come back up and it's this cold forever? <laughs> That's what Colorado does to your psyche. I'm sure much worse places like Chicago and other places, Maine, certainly it's like, what if it's just dark and cold forever? Maine, you sort of accept that fate though. <laughs> it's like You move to Maine, you're like, yeah, I'm ready for that. Yeah. You were born in a fucking blizzard, and that was it. Do I didn't you, like it. Remember right? when we went you to? You didn't uh, like it. it too, <laughs> it's disgusting, but like I like it. No, Pax East. What? Pax East. Uh, no. Pax East this year was a good. Yeah. We went to Pax East this year, and it, it, it oh, snowed it was during one cold. night at like 2 a.m. while everyone was at a bar wearing their like San Diego outfits, and I, I think I saw. I might have seen somebody die. Yeah. Definitely. Dude. It was definitely what I would call a harrowing experience. Girls in cocktail dresses leaving the Twitch party, forced into the fucking blizzard in Boston, right. and everyone just fighting for Remember Ubers and Remember when we were like filming that, uh, the, oh, the Trevor escapes to Boston or whatever, and like he was in his socks and shit. And, and that was like, nice we all weather. Shivering. That yeah. scenery was the nice part of it our trip. It was so right. fucking cold though. I, I didn't like that. All right, well, we're getting the wrap up motion. I, I actually enjoyed being on this hillside. It was all right. Actually, I thought it would be a lot worse, but... Yeah. It's, it's starting down. to calm down now. Yeah, it's cool. yeah. Wherever, the, wherever the sun went. It's behind a cloud, I think. Joe, thank you for dropping some thank knowledge about me. the wannabe ghetto of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I learned a little bit. I'll never move back there, though. Ooh, see, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that might be part of it. I don't want to move back I don't want to go back to my home yeah, state. Usually people, you don't want to go yeah, back to yours. That's probably it. When you yeah. move, you just don't want to move back. You spend your whole life getting away Is from places. Is it just places. the whole state or just that area? Probably the state okay i'd say yeah, it's like same. a mental thing you yeah go to like it Ver is a mental go to like thing vermont. well pennsylvania is also very <laughs> very 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 far behind mm -hmm. for whatever reason yeah, it's definitely. like they they have like my mom would call me up and be like oh my god james we're we're getting uh buffalo, a buffalo wild, wild, wild wings, wings. Yeah. no i don't you want have to that take shit. a bite all right we're they, sponsored. they just built that <laughs> we're gonna take a bite we're sponsored oh thank you for the burnt one that's the one I really I, you want made. the one that exploded while cooking yeah she was like you know, we got one Buffalo Wild Wings. She's just like, we got a um, Whole Foods. They got oh, one Whole yeah. Foods. They got, uh, what was the other one? There was something else. And it's like, it's stuff that like we, obviously out here, they there's a mass abundance of them. Or like back in Colorado, like Sprouts or something like that. There's like, there's tons of those. There's oh, tons Qdoba. of Buffalo Wild Wings. Qdoba. Qdoba, yeah. She just got, she was saying there was just a Qdoba that was just, it's like, how do you, like, I couldn't even imagine not having that stuff, but there are states that don't even have, like, even maybe one of those, or at least pockets that don't have even yeah, I never one had of a Qdoba things. back where I was at. Yeah, it's crazy. McDonald's only to Burger King was, like, the only chance. When I left, there was a, a gas station, it was a Wawa that was just being <laughs> built when we, when we pieced out, or when I pieced out. Do you have a stop and shop? Or a victory? That, it's owned by, uh... The same company that I used to work for. It's called Giant. Do you have a come and go? It's spelled K U M nope. and go. No. no. Everyone goes. Yeah, our grocery stores were all different and stuff. Like, but we never they're all really like they're all, all owned by like the same parent company, but like it's different. I think out where we are, it's called Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill. Yeah. That's the thing though. It's just like when you're like fixation is like, well, we finally got the Dairy Queen. It's like, <sighs> it just reminds me of a lot of time spent in my youth where I was like, what. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna live in my parents' house? Am I? Do I have a career? What's happening? And then I just was... have we talked about the difference of the stores out here though? Like that? Because uh, like, I was, I think I told you guys maybe in the office about the WalMarts. The WalMarts are different, drastically different. Drastically, unbelievably. Like, they're a lot smaller. They're like, <laughs> like because I would hear that like back Not obviously okay so like back home in PA right, WalMarts were kind of like lower end like ghetto-ish, I guess, like they were pretty bad, but then there would be some nicer ones that you could go into. Like they, they started building new Walmarts. And bigger parts of yeah. the state. Colorado, probably. all the Walmarts are nice. They're like mm -hmm. on the same level as like a Target. They're just yeah. like a normal, like convenience Depends store. Depends on what hour you go to, man. Well, the ones that were like close by Have, have you been to Walmart close. at 1 a.m.? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How was that like? I mean, I saw the owner over there. It was like some like Israeli, that wasn't traumatic uh, for Israeli you? dude that like he didn't let me buy Metal Gear. Because, exactly. Walmart yeah. at 1 a.m. is traumatic anywhere because you're just like, why? But and it's not. It's nicer though. So like the employees outnumber you, and you sort of feel like you might get ganged up on real quick. Yeah. You know really? What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. I just use like self checkout. It's usually empty. Exactly. It, yeah. Anyway, go on. But like, so it's I'll, more like, what are the choices that led me to Walmart at one a.m.? <laughs> it's more of an internal journey. I, well, I used to do. I, I used to, to buy do... a Nintendo DS charger. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I used to do my groceries. I was in really a pretty late. bad spot. In my I would life, do my man. groceries like really late at night. So like I would before some of the grocery stores in Colorado they were open like twenty four. Mm. Uh, they they changed the policy to like one or two a.m. and then like. I couldn't do late night grocery shopping anymore. But it's like going to the gym. Sometimes it is nice to go out and you're just like the only one up. Just quick grab what you need mm-hmm. to do and get the fuck out of there. But anyway, Walmarts out here are fucking utter shit. They're terrible. They're disgusting. They're filthy. They're gross. I never ever want to fucking go to another Walmart out here. And I mean, I guess. This is the level of exposure. <laughs> I'm the saying. Walmarts are gross. <laughs> Never mind the millions of like dollar store Mexican fucking grocery stores. That... I haven't been in a dollar store in a long time. Wow. We've got some living to do. We'll, do one, we'll do an episode. In a dollar <laughs> in store. A, in a dollar store. I have not been in a dollar store in a I, long time. I went time. to one downtown that was like fine. It was like selling expired food back when I like would try to buy really yeah, like really? dollar cans of food to live before I get the fuck off of me. And next door was a saint to uh, the saint of death, you know, uh, Santo de Muerto, whatever. It was like, so like, whatever. I bought like my shitty little canned goods and I walked and there was like an altar. So you I was were like, living off like the bare minimum at the time here? I was, yeah, I was did like, you like you, did you feel like you, you, like you needed to go over that hump? I when did. You get out here? Like, I was like, like, well, the I, rocky start. I moved out with my friends. They moved back to Colorado and I was like, downtown LA by myself in a shitty little single room I'm renting is as far from my hometown as I can get. Like stray dogs, crazy people. And but I was leaving the dollar store and there was a, a bunch of pews and I was like, oh, it's a little chapel. And I looked up and there was a big statue of like the Virgin Mary and I was like, oh, and I looked at her face and it was a skull. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Did and you have an epiphany there? I just, I just <laughs> thought moment? about it. I was like, wow, I'm in some real shit now. And uh, yeah, I think I think it is good to go through those hurdles uh, when you're think, starting off in the city. I think I think you should try Target. Joe's been talking about Target. <laughs> Target's out here are normal. Target's, Target's out here are Target. normal. Target is a very feel, consistent brand. Yeah. It's like McDonald's. You go <laughs> yeah, anywhere and they're all the same. Targets yeah. are definitely normal out here. All right. Well, no, no WalMarts then. That seems no to be the consensus. I actually heard because it's like one of the only places that accept uh, food stamps still. That that's kind of why. It's oh, that's actually late. very. Um, so like if it's one of the ignorant only places, of you, I think is the word. I'm I mean, it might be. Classist. Ignorant, but I'm just saying that that's like. What you're a little bit of a classist, aren't you? I might be. You I might be a Marxist. Be. I might too. be becoming that. Like as I get older, I feel you like you might I'm, be pushing for the poor to get exiled. I think I get. I, I fit into a certain class. I have like. What's my your own stance little... on gentrification? All right. Well, All right, well I think that's, that's been that's, another uh... crazy episode of CCTV. <laughs> Just a reminder: if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch this show live and early on Mondays. If you get yourself a Rooster Teeth first subscription. You can also watch our other exclusive content. We got our 80s themed D&D show, Class of 1980X. It's second episode. T-shirt Actually, it's third t-shirt episode just went up. T-shirt we got a t-shirt. That's up um, right now. But yeah, join the party if you want. You can do stuff really. You can meme hard when this airs VOD, live. VOD for this usually comes out, what, the day after? So you can, watch, you can watch live on Mondays. You can watch the VOD after on Tuesdays and it hits YouTube on Wednesdays. But if you're watching on YouTube, we, should, we appreciate your support anyway. Got a lot of views on this show and we Hashtag really appreciate CCTV. it. CCTV. Hashtag CCTV. Make Mixed sure. in with all the other weird actual global fucking CC, actual CCTV right, actual, shit. Actual news, but we sort of like, we're going to circumvent that. And, but then uh, like alien sightings, it's like all sorts of weird shit. It's a really fuck, good hashtag. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. All right, we, well, we've taken over. Your foot's gonna go right I know, it's gonna go right in the cheese. I knew that was no. coming. I knew. I, I, I put this grill together with love and care the night before. I was like, James is gonna fucking knock it over, stick my foot in we it. We should probably leave before It was like irking major. me that yeah, you were just like hovering over it. I had to just like fucking do something. I was asking for it for sure. All right, we'll see you next week on CCTV. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye. Get Bye. us sponsors. Rooster Teeth. Oh, you haven't done to me! They think this is gonna stop me! Well, it's not! Listen up, West Side. I'm opening up 99 cent store number 4 at West Broad and 270 in the Lincoln Village Plaza. And everything in this store is still only 99 cents. Over a thousand items like housewares, toys, gifts for everyone, and it's all only 99 cents. Start playing out for Christmas. Great opening specials at all four stores East Town and Country, Northern Lights, Great Southern.